Hey everybody, it's Sully Man, uh, bringing you a quick little video. Um, this is actually a how to use kind of video for the um, 12 angled t shirt mock up file I uh, created earlier. I actually went into ZBrush and created a, uh, a t shirt and then imported it into Photoshop and got it at every angle, masked it out, and, and set it up so it's really easy to use. It's kind of essentially drag and drop and this I'm just going to kind of show you how the layers are laid out and um, how to go about changing the shirt color and, and what have you so the way it's basically it's just three main sections you got the this folder here that has all the lighting for the apparel um, broken down into overlays and all sorts of stuff but uh, you can kind of turn that off and on and see what's going on um, so underneath that it's just the actual um, shirt color and then below that's just a drop shadow you can again turn all these off you can go into the lighting and kind of tweak stuff if you don't want certain things in there so you know it's up to you um, yeah so beyond that and then to change the color of the shirt you just go to the shirt color layer double click color overlay and then change it to whatever color you want maybe like a gray if you wanted to do a gray hit ok maybe change your background color just hit a colorize and do some pretty cool stuff. You know, custom to however you want to do it. Um, then if you got some artwork, this is how you just slap it in. So uh, let's see here. This is a design I did for a client uh, recently. Um, American Badass Apparel came out pretty good. Um, yeah, so all you would have to do is just uh, knock the background out. Um, a good way to kind of grab stuff real fast instead of having to merge layers is actually just select all. You can do um, go to select and hit all or you can actually just do, hit control A as the shortcut then if you do the shortcut control shift C you're going to copy everything it'll, it'll grab all the layers as it sees it and then head back over to your shirt and then paste it in now you definitely want to make sure your artwork is below the lighting we'll go ahead and zoom out and then we can resize so if this is a back hit, we'll just look for the back shirt there. Just kind of resize it for the back of the shirt. And there you go. And you can do the same thing if you want to move it on the front of the shirt. Slap it on the front. There you go. So, if you want to change the angles, uh, there's a few options in Photoshop that can help you do that. If you hold Control um, and then click on uh, the bounding box, you can kind of tweak the angles a little bit. Make sure your snaps off. That can kind of mess with you and just. Move it around till it looks right to you. Go ahead and duplicate this one again. Show you one more time. So yeah, just kind of tweak the perspective. Knock it down and I'll have to scrunch it up. A good portion of that probably you won't even see. So let's see here. That looks about right. Then just grab your grab your shirt layer. If you control click the shirt layer, you can actually mask out a specific piece of artwork. You know, go ahead and tweak it. But uh, that's the general idea behind it. So I uh, hope you enjoy, and I'll post the link um, in the description of the video where you can actually find the uh, template and download it for free. Today's show has been brought to you by sellyman.deviantart.com. Check it out; it's got some cool stuff.